Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back. So we are currently on route for a much needed night away. We're going to stay in Finlock. We actually stayed here last year. We stayed in one of their bubble domes and I vlogged it. So I'll leave that link below. But this time we're actually going to stay in one of their lakeside villas. So they have little kind of like lodges overlooking the lake and it's so beautiful. They have little wood burning stoves and all. So I'm so excited for a little cozy night. Finlock is honestly one of my favorite places that I've ever stayed. It's the most peaceful and relaxed spot I've ever been and that is so needed after these last number of weeks so I'm just so excited but I actually woke up this morning did a workout and vlogged that for you guys so I'll pop that in here and then we will have arrived good morning so we literally rolled out of bed this morning and onto the workout mat i was half asleep when i woke up but i'm feeling so much more awake now after doing that little yoga workout my biggest goal this year with my fitness is to leave the excuses behind because it's something that i've struggled with a lot over the years my most favorite excuse is i don't have time to train but with Jamondo, they have short but effective 15 to 30 minute workouts. So I have absolutely no excuse to squeeze them into my day. And I can do it wherever I am because once you've got your laptop or your phone. Today's video is in collaboration with Jamondo. But I started a yoga training program. So a training program is a set of workouts tailored to a variety of goals. With a training program, it helps you stay consistent because you get to schedule in as many workouts a week on days that best suit you and times that best suit you. You also build your strength gradually, which means it attainable goals and no burnouts. It's essentially like having your own super flexible PT because it's all in your control. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the trainers on Jamondo. I find them so motivating. Like even this morning, the last thing that I wanted to do was to move my body, but that's um, something I really want to start doing this year is reminding myself that I get to move my body and not that I have to move my body. But I find the yoga on Jamondo so grounding and so mindful. And sometimes that's what I need first thing in the morning. If you want to make your fitness consistent you can get a whole seven days free with your mondo right now through my link down below so seven days free no strings attached you can go and see what it's all about and then if you do want to get a plan you can get 30 percent off all the membership plans with my code jesse b30 they have three six and 12 month memberships the 12 month works out the best value but yeah i'll leave that link below my darlings and enjoy It doesn't matter if I'm going away for one night or if I'm going away for seven nights. This case will always come with me. We can actually drive up to the villa, which we weren't able to do with the bubble domes and she's, we have to follow her. So in the bubble dome, we had to get the golf cart to the bubble domes because they're all in a separate area. But these are the little lakeside villas we're staying in. So this is the entrance to our little lakeside villa. So when you come in, you first can go down these stairs um, into a little lounge area. This is genuinely so bloody beautiful. I didn't think it was going to be this big. You've got the little stove, burner, fire, whatever you want to call it. We'll definitely be lighting this tonight. You've got your little TV. This room is huge. All the cute little decor. Then you can go out the back here. You've got a little seating area. There's like a little fire pit there and then you've got the view of the lake here. It's a pretty shit day to be honest, like the skies are really cloudy but imagine this view on like a real hot summer's day. So beautiful. These villas are so different from the bubble domes and I can't tell which one I prefer. Like they're both so unique and they're both so beautiful in their own little ways. Then we come back up here and we go left and we have another floor. So we come up these stairs and we have a big kitchen table here. Then you've got the view again and we've got a huge beautiful window here which is lovely this kitchen is to absolutely die for this is my kind of vibe now this is the kind of kitchen i'd love to have in my house eventually when i have my own house like i just love the light and airiness of this kitchen obviously in the bubble dome you don't get a kitchen or anything so that's why i feel like the villa versus the bubble dome they're like two completely different experiences like it doesn't feel like you're staying in the same place at all like this is so different to the dome so we've got a third floor and and then up here we've got the bathroom in here so we've got a lovely little shower toilet sink all that good stuff 
and then in here we've got the bedroom and i think this is so cute i don't know why but i feel like the decor of the whole villa is like giving me like kind of like boat vibe i have on this bodysuit with the shoulders cut out and then i have on some cargo trousers these are both from pretty little thing i'm really sure and i've got on my boots these are asos i'm really sure they're from like shoe or something somewhere oh no public desire they're from public desire but i actually really like this fit and i was wearing it with this was my little outfit today so cozy night in is in full swing the makeup's off the big oversized shirt is on he's munching on popcorn <laughs> i'm gonna give you a little haul we went into tesco earlier and we got some snacks to have here because we decided like we weren't gonna go out for dinner and we were just gonna stay in because it's so nice and obviously we've um done everything here the last time what are you doing welcome to jesse's kitchen so in the fridge today See, Jesse's kitchen, so women belong in the kitchen. Hey, <laughs> boom! Let's go, gold spread. We've got some Tesco sun fried chicken goujons. Uh, Very uh, exotic. We've got two packets of ham. Uh, Wait for things to be exact because it's the best ham you can get. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Yeah. We've got iceberg lettuce because we are going making wraps. We've got Galaxy Honeycomb Crisp, which is always best kept in the fridge. <laughs> We've got two packs of watermelon, one which is already half eaten and it still has the half eaten bits in it. <laughs> oh, you're joking me. What? You actually put them back into it? Yeah. Fuck off what with that. Doing? We've got, moving on to the cupboard, three pack of rolls for a cheeky little ham roll, some Tesco salt and vinegar rice cakes because salt and vinegar are the best Rice cakes you can get. Got a pack of bananas because amongst all these shit food, can't make ourselves feel a little bit better in there. We've got wholemeal wraps for our wraps. We've got sour patch kits. So we got these lentil chips, sour cream and onions try. We've got sweet chili sauce, barbecue sauce. Because me and Jim would always have sweet chili chicken wraps. We decided today he wasn't feeling sweet chili chicken anymore and he wanted barbecue. Yeah, it'd be really awkward. And then we have jam donuts. And so Germans never had a salt and vinegar rice cake before and I am obsessed with them like they're unreal so test Ooh, taste. These are very fucking quality. First impressions. I think this could be your new thing because they're they're like way better for you than crisps and your oh, these are nice. Aren't they gorgeous? They are nice. He gave me an awful dirty look when I picked them up. I did. Didn't you? Yeah. And what the fuck are you getting? Right, so next task of the night, cozy night in part two, is light the fire. Yes. So it's already stocked up. Jeremy grew up with fires. Jeremy grew up with fires? No, but you know what I mean? Like, we never lit a fire in our house, ever. And we have a fireplace. Do you not feel like families are either fire families or not fire families? My family's a fire family. Like, my mum was always, didn't like the idea of fires and how much of a mess they made and she just put candles in the fire. And also because the danger. Oh, that's so cozy. <laughs> Makes me come, a bit... Come back to us when it's light. Makes me a bit nervy. No. You go away from it now. It'll make me nervy near <laughs> Right, it starts again. Oh. Jeremy's trying to put the heating up all the time and I'm constantly <laughs> trying to turn it down. Last year we stayed in the bubble dome. Yeah. Tonight we're staying in the lakeside villa. Yeah. What are your thoughts on boat? What are your preference? And what would you recommend if you could only come for one? The bubble dome. Okay. Because the simple fact of the matter, you can stay in... A, a house anytime yeah that bubble dome is only like and you'd only do it once as well yeah when you, some people might do it more than once yeah i found that the bubble dome was an experience like yeah it was a real magical experience yeah wasn't it? i think my favorite bit about that though was like sleeping under the stars yeah like we, you weren't able to get it on camera but when you're actually in the bubble dome you can see all the stars oh. can you smell that you smelly fucker yeah oh you were rotten <laughs> That's disgusting. Like, you didn't like, even smell it. Because I didn't get the whiff of it straight away. It smells like baby shit. <laughs> I think I can taste it in my mouth. <laughs> Come back. No. Jim, the smells have been coming out for you the last three days. It was like a rat died this morning when we were doing a workout. A rat. A rat. <laughs> a rat. Like, you could have used something a bit nicer than a rat. Like a rat. I'm trying <laughs> to express how bad it was. She's looking well now, I must say. Oh. 
could put them out better. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, 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 oh my
there's actually two other rooms because there's locked doors in our villa or what is it it's not a villa it's a oh yeah it is a lakeside villa and then we didn't know what was in them they're bedrooms good to know oh my god i just i'm obsessed with that big window i think that's my favorite part of this is that window ran in while Jim pulled up at the door with the key and there was a couple in front of us at the check check-in desk and he proposed to her last night they got engaged and I can't believe it like I can't believe I witnessed that you're the one at the desk like show me the ring like I'm so excited that we can be part of your story and you know you'll have to come back or whatever but I was trying to work out where he proposed <laughs> I feel like it was the bubble oh yeah it was definitely in the bubble wasn't it yeah. because you'd like that's like a really special experience like a once-off kind of thing I want to hear for a little oh yeah <laughs> oh my god so this is ross harbour resort me and jermid have wanted to stay here and we've been recommended it a lot and it's literally five minutes down the road from finlock so you stay in these little they're tiny but they're so cute they are oh they all have private hot tubs that's what it is oh this is like a whole little resort as well Hard park in Orleans. They have like a little restaurant. Jeez, they have quite a lot of pods. Look at all the hot tubs. Yeah, I know. But you'd be able to see each other. Yeah. Like, there, <laughs> there's no cover in between them. I totally forgot to say that that was a gifted stay, but I had no obligations to post on YouTube. So that's why it totally slipped my mind. I only have to post um, a grid post on Instagram. So a couple of photos in return for the stay. But we stayed there last year. We paid for it all ourselves. So it completely slipped my mind. But just for total transparency. Do you think you'd be like happy being a passenger in my car? I've got this Polaroid in the back of my phone of me and little Lady Lou. And then I've got this photo as my uh, lock screen. I miss you. I was just saying to Jeremy like that these are the kinds of times that I find the hardest is like going home from a night away or something and her not being there because I don't know like I've always felt really guilty over the years like when I used to leave lady do you know like even in the last year and stuff like if I'd go on a night away I'd just feel really bad I don't know and I'd always just be dying to get home to her even though like she'd be with my parents I just yeah. like coming home from a trip like and seeing her was always such a highlight for me see should have went my way I knew the way to go but I this this stupid map has brought me there into a town that I've never been through before in my life if we went with me never mind this prick of a phone we'd be fucking uh, well on the way but no listen to this bullshit phone Wait, do, you, do you recognize this town there's tears gonna come out of my eyes when you're making me laugh <laughs> but look do you ever see the center before in your life no phone no go why does it do that why doesn't it bring you back the way you I came I went my own way <laughs> gotta go my own way what about us? What about everything we've been through? Look Whoa. at their, whoa. Their number plate, his number plate says egg. <laughs> it says egg. <laughs> and today is two weeks without my best friend. So it is. And actually the night, it was the night I uploaded that video where I was talking about Lady. Two, it was about two hours later and I was stood in my room. I was talking to Jeremy and I was just, I was talking about Lady and, um, I was like getting a bit emotional and then we were going, what are we going to get food or something? So I went to grab my purse and I opened my purse and there was a pure white feather in it. I'll show you, I'll stick in a little clip of the feather here, but in my purse and we had only been out like a night or the night or two before that I'd been using that purse and nothing in it, like just money obviously. I don't care what anybody says, I believe it was Lady Lou. And quite a lot of you guys actually responded on that video saying that you believe in signs too. One of you guys actually said to look out for white feathers that once your dog passed you saw a lot of them and then a lot of you guys said about the robins as well, like that is a sign from the other side. Little Lou, <laughs> better keep sending them my way. I've got the dodgiest tummy, I don't know if it's the car or if it's something I ate, but oh my god, we literally had to pull over. And I just had to get some air because I actually thought I was going to get sick. But on that note, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys super duper soon.